Not a jury selection in a civil trial against Donald Trump. That's today. Author E. Jean Carroll says that Trump sexually assaulted her in the 1990s and defamed her when she made the allegation public. Aaron Katursky is on the scene at the courthouse. Good morning, Aaron. George, good morning to you. So many of former President Trump's legal troubles involve his actions while in office or just after. The trial that gets underway here this morning stems from an alleged rape 30 years ago. E. Jean Carroll, the writer and former magazine columnist, said Trump raped her in a department store dressing room. And she has also alleged that he defamed her when he denied her claim by calling her a liar and disparaging her appearance. The statute of limitations has long expired, but a recently adopted New York law allows adult victims of alleged sexual assault to sue regardless. There's no physical evidence here, but two women are going to testify that Carroll told them about the alleged attack in real time, and two other women are expected to testify that Trump sexually assaulted them, claims he denied. Uh, Trump has said Carol is not his type, but during a deposition in the case when he was shown a photo of Carol and asked if he recognized her, Trump said, that's my wife, confusing Carol with his second wife, Marla Maples. Prospective jurors are not going to see Trump, but his lawyer has left open the possibility that he could attend at some point during the trial, expected to last a week or two, George. And Aaron, we've also had a development in that Fulton County case down in Georgia on election interference. Yeah, the Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis has written a letter to law enforcement in which she says she is expected to announce whether to file charges against Trump and his allies. Sometime this summer, she told law enforcement officials that charging decision could require heightened security. George. Aaron Kersky, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.